Given how immature these shackles are, you're pretty persistent. I see. You're... you're the same. But you are just a defective. Answer my questions. You're not the MBCC's chief now. You're a suspect who's been suspended and under investigation. If you don't want further and harsher interrogations, spill the beans now. Tell me everything you saw about the Black Ring. But that's not everything. While BR-004 was active, you lost contact with the outside world in the Black Ring. Meanwhile, all sinners in the MBCC who were linked to you through the shackles went manic multiple times. All of them, at the same time. What did you do? Your adjutant and sinners all believe you destroyed BR-004. How did you do it? We only found the corpse of a male sinner at the scene. Signs of deep corruption were identified on his body, but the thing that corrupted him had been forcibly stripped off him. Where did Zoya go? And the whereabouts of the inheritance you just mentioned? You're still keeping your mouth zipped, aren't you? This kind of attitude won't do you any good. We know an underground organization is attempting to create black rings in the city. The Dis City's most merciless agents are watching them and making sure of their eventual deaths. Now, think twice. The more you resist, the more suspicious you'll become. If someone thinks you're connected to those people behind the Black Ring, you should expect a different kind of interrogation by a different party. Don't try to use your tricks in the Bureau on me. I'm the one interrogating you now. Now, FAC Special Operations Forces against Black Rings, Captain of Team N7, service number 036. Let's talk about him. During the last round of interrogation, you admitted to accidentally killing 036 in a chaotic mental state under the Black Ring's influence. 
This is your most honest response during the entire interrogation process. You've expressed your regrets and apologies to his family. Let's start from there. Now, answer the questions we've encountered during further investigation. Forensic examination reveals that the fatal wound on 036 was the one on his heart, pierced through by contamination crystal. Both on-site investigation and wound analysis show clearly that he did not plunge onto the spike himself. It's evident that it happened very suddenly. 036 stood still and had his heart pierced through by the ring's extremely aggressive contamination crystal. Something controlled the spike to kill him. Explain this to me. Under such circumstances, why did you admit to committing involuntary manslaughter? From your response to his family, it doesn't look like you're harboring the real culprit. Tell me, did 036 take the bullet for you? Or were you the one who controlled the ring's contamination and stabbed him? Tell me, why were you able to control the contamination inside the Black Ring? You've said that's the power belonging solely to the corpse born, the Black Ring's owner. That would only enable the Black Ring to destroy your mind one-sidedly. How were you able to turn it around and influence it? Stop making excuses like this. Since the day the FAC launched this project, we've been monitoring you. We know you come with great risks, and this incident is only a small warning. What exactly is the relation between you and the Black Ring? How are you related to the Corpse Born, that inheritance thing, and the power behind the Black Ring? Answer my questions. What are you trying to say? You can say it here. You haven't even come clean about yourself, and you're dreaming of winning our trust. You... What a waste such a talent has fallen in your grip. End this pointless interrogation now. From now on, he's mine. Hello, Rookie. My name is Langley. I'm in charge of the Ninth Agency. 
I'm an agent and also someone who has say over things, as you've requested. I know you're keeping quite a few secrets, but that's okay. I like your proposal. I like it very much, in fact. No time to waste. Let's go. Where you want to be. An existing black ring. Have you read all the documents I gave you? Then put them aside. I'll summarize the main points for you. We've arrived. It's not exactly the first black ring. The great explosion of the DC in NF-84 marked the true beginning of all black rings, BR-000. But this one is indeed the first black ring that has erupted in a densely populated area and has not been under full control so far. That's right. 23 years ago, the Rust was still the Grace River with a beautiful view and the carnival was a favorite amusement park for everyone in the city. The day the Black Ring erupted was the third day of the reopening celebration of the carnival. Everyone flocked to the park on that day. Guests of all ages came to seek for a paradise of dreams and pleasure. After the great explosion of the Deceit, the FAC spent five years to get BR-000 under control and slowly led the city out of the trauma. The reopening of the carnival also served to rebuild citizens' confidence. Those geezers did work hard back in the day. Unfortunately, no one expected that there would be more than one black ring, and not only in the Deceit. On the third day after the carnival reopened, on that most bustling day, BR-001 broke out. Shield technology was still immature at the time. After several eruptions, the FAC could only give up the Grace River altogether and utilize the valley terrain to block contamination. In time, this place has become what it is now. All right. That's all for my introduction. Be careful. Even today, the carnival is still a very popular destination. <sighs> carnival. Let me enter. Carnival. Let me. In. Let me in!
stay away from him. Don't exhaust yourself so soon. If I could fish you out from that place, of course I could fish out your subordinates from wherever they were, too. Remember, you're a senior officer. Ensuring your own safety is your responsibility to them. Ma'am, the Corruptors are attacking the anti-Black Ring base station. The FAC's reinforcements cannot arrive in time, as they're still cleaning up the remains of the Black Ring in Keelan Square. The Corruptors there have taken up too much of our forces. We'll take this chance and make them owe us a favor, then. Are you coming? Think of it as a show. I'll make sure to pile it on in the report to help you gain a few more points from those stubborn geezers in the FAC. Why did you bring Chief here? He's just faced the Black Ring and been in the cell for so long. His body never had a chance to recover. Why did you take him to such a dangerous place? When Chief goes back, aren't they going to? Don't worry. The Ninth Agency doesn't need permission from them. We agents are always the ones to give others trouble. It's never the other way around. Are you sure? You have a team of adorable subordinates. Very loyal. Don't push them away. It's just a reminder. I'm quite fond of you. As someone who shares similar experiences, I'd like to offer you some advice. Don't hold on to your little secrets and lock yourself up. You can't shoulder everything yourself, especially when it comes to things like this. Watch me dance? 